Okay, so today we're going to take a look at how to install the award device file modification. So I get asked this question quite a lot, so I thought I'd do a short video on that. So if we go to Mountain Blade Warband in our Steam uh, application, we can go to Browser Workshop, find the award device and file modification. And then we will just click subscribe and that's pretty much it for Steam. If we want to access the files uh, from our Steam Workshop installation, they're in a slightly different place to if we download the mod from the mod database, for instance. So if we go back to our library, go to properties, browse lo uh, local files. So normally the folder would be in the modules folder, but for the Steam Workshop, we need to go to Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and then this number here, 94807528 is where the modification is. So if you need to install the shader update, for instance, on my database, this is where you need to come. Okay, so the next way to install the mod is through a mod database. So if you head over to the Award Device and Fire page on mod database, you can see the link at the top here. First, you need to install the full version, which at the moment is version 4.3. So that is now downloading. And then we also need to download the patch, which is 4.3.6. So unfortunately the downloads on here are sometimes a bit slow, so I'll speed the video up and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so that seems to take forever. Uh, now we have the raw file open. We will extract that too. If we go to program files you'll find your warband folder and you want to be in the modules folder so I already have the mod here so I'm not going to actually install it this time but then you just click OK and it would install into that folder for the patch the easiest way I find is to extract this to your desktop Right, okay. So then just select everything in here, copy and paste it into your. So if we copy that, and then we'll head back to our Award Device on Fire module folder, and we'll paste it into here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you want to install any of the patches, if you want to install the music files, we'd do exactly the same thing. Uh, exactly the same thing as we've done for the patch. Okay, so that's it. So hopefully you should have no issues installing the mod now and I hope you have fun playing.